Hey, this is Skyler of Spikeball, and today we're gonna to be talking about offensive strategies in the sport of round net. We're gonna discuss what types of shots you can hit and how to read the defense and what you should do so that you can ensure that you put the ball away every time you're playing offense. Let's go. Two of the most critical elements of playing offense are awareness and deception. Awareness is being able to understand what's going on around you depending on the situation. When being aware of the situation on offense, we want to think about two questions. What shots can I hit in this situation from this position? If you have good ball control and the play is close to the net, you may have many options to hit, which is ideal. If the ball is farther away from the net, you will have less shots that you have confidence in and may need to just get the ball in the net. The other question we want to think about is, what shots should I hit in this situation? Where do you want to hit and what shot do you want to hit are informed by three simple variables. How close the ball is to the net, where the defensive players are located, and the amount of open space you have to attack. One important element of playing offense is the use of deception or faking out opponents. Try not hitting the same shots over and over again as the defenders will pick up on your offensive tendencies. You will need to have a variety of options like the drop shot, the power shot, and be able to disguise those shots as one another. It can be effective to utilize deception to make your opponents think you are hitting on the second contact, then pass it to your teammate to catch the defenders way out of position. One more important thing to remember about offense in general is that ball control is extremely important. If you can more accurately place the ball exactly where you want to, the easier the pass is, hitting and offense in general will become. Remember, practice makes perfect. Now that you've learned a lot about offense, what kind of shots to hit, what to do in certain situations, go out there and utilize this in your gameplay and try and take your offense to the next level. Have some fun, play hard, we'll see you out there. The goal for these offensive drills is to practice the skills we learned while working together with a partner to achieve this goal. Choose three or five consecutive successions with your partner as your goal for each level. If you want to challenge yourself to a higher number, go for it. Level one, partner A tosses the ball underhand towards partner B who is standing at the net. Partner B hits a drop shot onto the net. Level two, partner A tosses the ball underhand towards partner B who is standing at the net. Partner B hits a power shot onto the net. Level three, partner A tosses the ball underhand towards partner B who is standing at the net. Partner B alternates between power shots and drop shots. Level four, partner A tosses the ball underhand. Partner B uses their non-dominant hand to hit the ball on the net. Level five, partner A tosses the ball underhand to partner B who is standing at the net. Partner A quickly moves one to two feet in any direction. Partner B uses any shot to hit the ball onto the net so that partner A can catch it. 